right in there. It's a nice pocket. That's where we're going to start today. But in this episode, there's three surf fishing products I will be testing out. But the game plan is to throw lures first. If that doesn't work, go to Carolina Rig. Currently, it is 7 a.m. and peak high tide is 7.44. Peak high tide is like a four foot high tide. Low tide starts to swing down, but it's only three foot low tide. So it's only a difference of one foot. So we should have really good conditions today. I didn't really check the wind, but it hasn't been really windy lately for the whole week or so. And then in terms of wave power, we are looking at 250 or around that in terms of the wave power. So guys, let's get them. At the end of this video, I'm gonna go over thoroughly the three products that I mentioned, actually except one. One of the products I am going to be testing is actually a Hook to Cook brand product. I haven't really found anywhere yet, so I'm really excited, but I'm not gonna show all the details, but it's gonna be something that I really want. And it's finally here, but there's some tweaks that need to be made. That being said, let's put on those waders, strap you on the chest cam, and let's fish. Good morning, Mr. Siegel. Busting out the trifecta light for the first time in a really long time. Along with the 3000 size Quantum Reliance. Nice small setup, very durable. Love it. Let's go. Woo! Forgot how nice this thing casts. Every few videos is probably good to mention. I like using 30 pound braid with a 30 pound fluoro top shot. And the reason for the top shot or leader is simply because when you throw straight braid, it's easy for that lure to get tangled up in the braid and you bring it back and it's all tangled up in braid, which you don't want that nicked or anything. So the fluorocarbon is a lot more, how should I say, not limp and <laughs> a little bit more stiff to allow for less snagging of your own lure and it is clear so it's harder for the fish to see as well so that's the reason for the top shot and i joined that with an fg knot if you guys want to see a video to an fg knot i will leave a link below along with everything else that i use oh there's a fish there's a fish already. Yeah. Oh, he came off. He came off, but I got bit. I got bit, baby. Let's go. That was nice. Like my third cast got bit. So I'm going to keep fishing this spot, but I just couldn't pin him. So we'll see if we can pin the next one. But yeah, it's been a while since I've thrown the trifecta light. I really like the fact that your connection and, and the sensitivity to the bait, especially with the braid, really allows you to work it effectively compared to a more stiffer rod. The reason I've been using the Allen rod so much is because it's so versatile. It can cast from that half ounce all the way to two ounce range, so it's nice to have those options. But if I know that I have the ability to carry two rods, one lure rod. There's another fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, he came off. Woo. But yeah, like I was saying, if, if I have the ability to throw both, then um, I like the sensitivity and the action of this trifecta light. If you guys want a trifecta light, the best place to get it right now is still been there, caught that in Santa Maria. If you're not nearby, give them a call. They can ship one out to you. Tell them Hook to Cook sent you. Ah, oh, two bites. My drag was loose on that one. Took some drag. That was a big fish. All right, I moved down the beach a little bit. Found another nice spot where the wave action looks good. Got my cut here, sandbar here. See if uh, we can't get them on a more smaller presentation. 
Here's me testing out one of the products. <laughs> my rod's right here <laughs> and both my hands are free. It's pretty sick. You ever have those times where you need somewhere to put your rod and you have to like just jam it in the sand? Well, hopefully this product solves that. I'll show it to you in a bit, but I moved to a new spot. Let's see if the perch are home and uh, we'll eat the Carolina rig. There is a fish. Can't tell if it's a good one, but it's a fish. Decent head shakes getting absorbed by this Okuma Hawaiian custom. Oh yeah, that's a keeper today. Definitely a keeper today. Oh my gosh, yeah, solid. I'll take that on the crappie slider. Let's go ahead and uh, utilize another one of the products today. It's not the forceps. Something for the forceps though. And then time to test out my own product right now as well. But that's a good sign guys. Just got another small guy. Not even a keeper for today though. Got one. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a fish. That's a better fish right there. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one. I'll keep that one. Whatever. Beggars can't be choosers today. Definitely not a keeper. Not even today. Better fish, definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Got him good too. <laughs> Much better than the grade that I was getting earlier, that's for sure. Not as big as I thought, but it'll do. Thought you were bigger, bud. Fog rolled in and the conditions changed very, very fast. But now it's time to show you guys the three products that I got to test out today. The first product is this bad boy right here. It is actually a rod holder for your belt loop. And it's made by Edge Concepts. Actually, two of the three products are actually made by Edge Concepts today. So sometimes when you're fishing and you need to put your rod down, you got to put your reel in the sand or you got to stab your reel, your rod butt into the ground. And then your next cast, you got all this sand everywhere. But with this, you can actually put your rod right in the holster. You got both hands free, lets you put your baits on, lets you undo tangles, anything while your rod is securely out of the water, out of the sand. It actually works sitting forward or it could even sit going backward like that. So your hands are free and you got that. But there is an improvement that I'm gonna tell Nelson about. Nelson's the guy who owns or started Edge Concepts, but you'll notice you have to feed a belt loop through this and most belt loops that come with your waders have a really big clip on them to secure them on and that clip will not fit through the holster so i had to innovate and bring my regular leather belt here so here's the belt that comes with most waders and here's that belt loop right here and it will not go through so there's no way to get this on because there's no way to slide it over your belt loop. So I'm definitely going to call Nelson before this video comes out and I'm sure there's going to be a solution for that coming up real soon. But ultimately, if you guys are interested in stuff that Nelson makes, I'll leave his Instagram handle in the description below. But the other item is this bad boy right here. This is a magnet that can hold anything metal. I actually earlier had it on my GoPro strap and I had my forceps on it just like that. Boom. Easy to access, sticks on really nice. It's a really, really strong magnet. So be careful around cell phones or any other electronics, but extra hooks, 
forceps, pliers, boom, at the ready, right on your belt loop. But this one actually does have a quick release to it, so you don't have to actually feed it through a belt loop. So there's the back of it right there. That's what that piece looks like. So you could slide that right over a loop of your belt or your GoPro strap and your pliers will be ready anytime. Boom, really strong magnet. And then last but not least, a product that I'm really excited about because it's a hook to cook branded product, totally original. I really haven't been able to find anything like this at any store, Amazon, anything like that. And if you guys have watched the previous videos, I, I used to use a mesh bag, but the problem with that is the mesh bag would drag and sometimes I'd step on the perch or even worse, the mesh bag allowed the spines of the perch to stick me through my waders, creating small holes in the waders. And then also the mesh bag, if any of your lures or baits touch the mesh bag, it's just really easy to snag. So I've designed this bag right here, made of the same material that they make dry bags out of. It actually has drainage and it's pretty cool. It has a measuring device on it and it has the Hook to Cook logo. There's still some changes that I will be making to this, so stay tuned. These bags, I believe, should be out by 2023, but I'm gonna continue to test them, so definitely stay tuned if you guys are interested in getting one of these bags for yourself. But today, I've been able to keep about eight perch in there. It's not really made to keep a whole limit. It's basically made so that when you're fishing, you don't have to put your fish away in your backpack or in your truck. You can stay on the hole fishing and not lose your spot. You just unhook your fish, throw it in here. You can bleed out your fish because it does have the drainage. It's not gonna snag any hooks. It's not gonna drag on the floor to where you step on it. It's just always gonna be ready. But again, I'm gonna make some changes to it. So stay tuned guys. This is definitely a product I'm really excited about and it's an original hook to cook product. So thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given for this channel and everything that I've been doing. It really means a lot. All the likes, comments, shares, and all of you who are subscribed. Thank you guys so much. It really means the world to me. Hope you guys check out those products from Edge Concepts. And again, stay tuned for this awesome bag that is coming out very soon. If you guys are interested in any other videos like the one where we show you how to use the Carolina rig, which I caught all the fish on today. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link right over here for you guys to watch. If you guys wanna see the aerial footage that we just did really on how to read the surf, I'll leave that video there too. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.